What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now I want to start by issuing a huge thank you to Disney and Marvel for the early access to the first three episodes of the upcoming What If series on Disney+. Plus. And you guys know that I'm a Marvel fan, that's why I started the channel. This is literally a fan channel before it's anything else. And so in my attempt to issue what's an unbiased, a very real review of What If, I attempted to ask myself if I could do so unbiasedly. I mean, Marvel movies are what they are. Marvel fans love them and sort of it's like me preaching to my own choir when I get to talk about this stuff. But we are in unknown territory now with an animated series that as far as we've been able to tell from all these recent press junkets is absolutely 100% in the MCU and affecting MCU events. And I'm going to be very honest and forthcoming about these episodes. However, I'm not going to do any spoilers. There will be the normal Easter egg video tomorrow that will drop after episode one. And if you're wondering tonight, we will do the watch along party as well. That's live at 3 a.m. in the morning or 12 Pacific here at the channel. If you're going to stay up to watch it, just come by and hang out. We all watch it together and then talk about it. You watch at home as I watch here. It's super fun. Either way, we've got to talk about is it good and is it Marvel Cinematic Universe, even though it's animated? I have the answers for you, my opinion. I'm going to break it all down, tell you what you're in store for tonight, and you should be excited. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, still giving away a PlayStation 5, a bunch of subscriptions to Disney Plus while the show is live, and some other stuff we're going to announce tomorrow with What If going live tonight. So if you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit that subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So I have seen the first three episodes. We are all going to watch the first episode tonight. I am not going to spoil anything about about the characters, narrative, plots, none of that. And I'm sure you guys have seen the social reactions, social media reactions they were allowed a couple of weeks back. Today was the review embargo, and I questioned if I should even do a review for something that we're all going to watch in about 12 hours. But I decided that I should because there are some things I want to say about it going in. And if you're the type that wanted to watch this video and sort of get a bearing of what to expect, I want to share it with you. I do feel like the first episode we're going to see, whether it intended to or not, played out like a pilot episode, even though the series probably went straight to production before they were issuing a pilot. That's just the way animation works. You don't put together the budget for that. They probably would have storyboarded it, but either way, moving this into production means that it wouldn't have been a pilot, but the first episode felt a lot more safe and or establishing than some of, say, the stuff that we're going to encounter in the second and third episode, which I think sort of gave us a much better view of what this series is all about. But I'm all for ramping, you know, not starting crazy right out of the gate. And this first episode did a couple of things that I was hoping the series would do, and I am happy to report completely unbiasedly. I wondered if when watching an animated version of a live action cinematic universe where not only are the characters now animated and not exactly looking like themselves, but you have different characters now voicing important characters like Tony Stark, different people voicing over characters we've known like Chris Evans, when you start watching this stuff, I wondered, would it feel like the Marvel Cinematic Universe? The answer is 100% it is immersive in the way that you would hope it would be. I watched it and actually felt like I was watching MCU. Now, while this next bit of review is going to apply more for the second and the third episode than it does the first, I want to assure you that a show called What If, in my opinion, if you're going to play with that kind of sandbox, should express the entire sandbox, which means if you're going to do a show like What If, you might as well go off the rails because that's what the show is made for. Plus, you're using a medium like animation, which sort of goes around and circumvents the normal budget you would need for a live action version of some of this stuff. A lot more fixed, not that it's cheaper, but a lot more fixed when it comes to animating anything that you can think of. In that respect, the animation is amazing, but the show really stretched the boundaries of what even I expected from What If, having read the comics and knowing what the show would somewhat be about by the second episode, I could not believe what I was watching. Going into the third episode, I was like, heck yes. Not only is this MCU, but it's crazy MCU. It's crazy MCU, we were not getting in live action in any other way, but what's awesome is that this is now canon. This stuff is happening somewhere. It leaves the possibilities wide open. And I also felt like the group that was working on this project definitely had a sense of that as they were doing it. We've come to find out in the weeks since I had the interview that there were several times they were actually shut down on certain episodes, one being where Spider-Man actually turned into a spider and it was two body horror 
or some of these episodes are dark at certain times. I'm very excited for you guys to see the second and, or third episode. Not that the first episode was bad, just that the first episode felt more like a pilot than the second and third episode. And by the third episode, I felt like I had really tapped into what I was hoping I would see from the show. Do not worry. It definitely feels like MCU. Uh, do not worry. It is not less than and not being live action. And I think it's every part of of what we want for Marvel stuff on TV as any of the live action stuff has been uh, already this year or maybe even better. So in a very honest reaction but review of the show, while it starts just a little slow with this first episode, give it a second. It's awesome. It gets there. It's totally fun and it is totally Marvel Cinematic Universe in a way that will integrate perfectly if they want to use any of the characters or elements from this animated series in live action down the road, which by all indications they're certainly going to do. Now, if you want any further updates about what's going on with the show, I had a one-on-one -on -one with the head writer and the director. I'll make sure to link it at the end of this. And of course, we'll do the normal Easter egg breakdown for episode one tomorrow. This was just a non-spoiler review. Uh, and again, huge thank you to Disney and Marvel Studios for early access to the content. Guys, it is a really good time. I'm excited for you to see it. Leave all of your questions and or response hype everything down below. Uh, and of course, I can't really answer anything spoiler wise but come by tonight hang out or stay up and watch it um, and we will talk about it tomorrow so let's get into the giveaway quickly before I let you go and keep up with some other admin stuff so we're gonna be announcing some new giveaways tomorrow and here's the deal it kind of took a lot longer to get to 900,000 subscribers than I thought that it was uh, YouTube's algorithm is weird sometimes we'll do 20,000 30,000 subscribers in a month sometimes we'll do four it's just the way YouTube works I'm totally cool with it just takes longer than we thought sometimes so as a, a giveaway instead of doing a signed comic like we did for Loki I just decided to add a PlayStation 5 that we're going to run during What If. So this is going to work the exact same way it did with the Loki and the signed comics. We're still going to give away that PlayStation I've been saying we would at 900,000 subscribers, but because it looks like it's going to take us at least till the end of the year maybe to get there, or shorter, I'm just going to add another one to run during What If. So it'll start with this very first video, all of the videos that run at my channel, in between when the show goes live and the nine weeks when it wraps culminating in that very last Easter egg video where I'll make the announcement. All those videos are in play. All you have to do and all the same rules apply for all the giveaways. Just make sure you're a subscriber here at the channel and then comment on the videos because we pick a random video and then we pick a random comment. So the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Uh, and Godspeed to you. Those PlayStation 5s are still ever elusive, still going for a ton uh, on eBay and Amazon. I cannot believe but hey, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that's not available right now, so that's, that's the least of the worries. Either way, it's the same rules that apply for any of the other giveaways here at the channel. We're going to do weekly subscriptions during the Easter egg videos for Disney+, Plus, uh, and that's the new thing that we give away. I said it was going to be an MCU-related giveaway, but, I mean, you guys all want a PlayStation 5. Might as well add another one. Um, let me know all your thoughts. Hype down below. I will see you tonight. Come by. We do the YouTube watch party here at the channel. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at I am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, Pandora, Shazam, or if you listen to music with the couple of songs that you're hearing during this video, including this one right here, under the name All Fires. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.